Hi lovelies, you're welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Dami and here on our screen is our design for today. So here I mold this base with a wording. So here is our material, here is the wording I'm talking about. Some call it breast pad as well. And here is the mold I will be using. I will be using this shape. So to get the measurements of your wording, so you pick your mold and measure it with one inch inward. Then you measure it like this with one inch inward. So here I have 10 inches. So you pick your wording and measure out 10 by 10 inches. So after that I'll pick up my mold and wrap it with a nylon. You can use any type of nylon to wrap it. I'll wrap my mold inside the nylon. Then after wrapping it, you apply any oil base like hair cream, Vaseline, baby oil, any oil. You apply it to your mold. Then after that, I'll be using this satin fabric as my lining that I'll be showing you under the, uh, the base. So on this uh, satin, I also have 10 by 10 inches. So I'll cover the right, the right side will be facing the mold. And after that, I'll place my wording, my breast pad. And you place your mold at the center and make sure that all the edges you can fold in all the edges so while folding you fold the four edges first and pin here i use a thumb pin Then you print the second side. The third. Then the fourth side. And after this, the, these four sides, you can continue with the other sides so you paint this round so after painting it here is what i have so after that you pick up your stevener you can get this in the fascinator material shop you try to dilute the stevener if it's thick you mix it with water but if it's not thick you use it like that after mixing it with water if you find that it's watery you add more stevener and if it's still thick you add more water so you try to dissolve it And after that, you apply it on your mold. So after one, after I apply the 
the stevener i took it out to sun dry so here is what i have after i sun dry it then you remove your pin when it once it's dried here i dried this for two days so if the weather is hot you can dry it for just a day so after removing all the pins you try to bring out your mold the mold you wrap in the nylon you try to bring it out After that, I'll trim out the hedges. So here is what I have. So to give this your basic structure, you get a millinery wire. So to know the measurement of the millinery wire to cut, you measure the base round so yeah i have 23 inches so i'll be adding just extra one inch to hit so i cut out 24 inches So you fold it in you fold it like this to form to give you a circular shape and tape it with your masking tape or any cello tape or you can use your thread to tie it So here, here is what I have after taping it, then you fix it inside your base. So after fixing it in, this is what I have. So here is the material I'll be using to cover this base. You can use any material of your choice to cover this base. So, but before I cover up this base, I will have to glue down the edges. I will have to glue the edges. So you apply your gum, you can use your UHU gum, you can use your candu gum. So here I'm using my peg to hold it down. Once the gum dry up, you remove the pegs. Then cover up with your fabric of choice. This fabric is also 10 by 10 inches. Then why gummy? You gum the four edges, just like we did earlier. You gum the four edges first. So you gum the four edges first. And you hold this down with your peg as well. 
please if you find this video helpful kindly subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up so that we'll be able to do more and serve it better and after that we glue the remaining parts we do it down round So here is the base. And we'll try to cut out the excess. So to cover up my rough edges, I will be using a applique. Here you can use your bias, you can use ribbon to cover up these uh, edges. after that you pick pick your Harley's band you attach your Harley's band if you want to use hair comb you attach your hair comb here as well then you apply your glue and gum your Harley's band to this base So once you attach your Harley's band, just try as much as possible to tack it down with your needle and thread. You know this gum cannot be trusted, so you just tack it down with your needle and thread. So here's the look, final look of our base. So here I'll be designing this with a crinoline. This is um, about two inches crinoline. You can use the big one if you like. So I'll be creating two step bow. So here I am creating the first step. So why doing this? But make sure the two sides are equal. And here I am trying to create the second step. If you want three steps, you can go ahead and create another step. After that, you tack it with your needle and thread. Then place on your base any side you want it to be. You place it on your base. Then tack till you get your desired results.
So here is the final look of our fascinator. So do well, please do well to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. See you in another tutorial.